Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. I have an awesome video to show off for you guys today. We are in the middle of our deep dive, taking a closer look at all of Nazebo's builds, and this one really surprised me. It is solely focused around the zombie wall. Now, you may be thinking, sure, but if you miss the zombie wall, you miss all the value, and that is so not true. It does massive damage inside team fights, massive damage to buildings as well. If you're a split pusher, Keep your eyes open for this one. It really took me by surprise. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Check out the definitive deep dive playlist down in the video description. And I'll see you all again soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Hanamura Temple today. The friendly team, Nazebo, Dahaka, Greymane, Anduin, and Balaze. The enemy team, Vala, Lucio, Artanis, Chromie. Oh my God, is that a damage Meriden? Oh. <laughs> Uh, at level one, we are taking Things of the Deep. Increases the range of Nazebo's basic abilities by 20%. This is my range for spiders now. This is my range for spiders now. Give us that little extra little bit on the end. The focus of today's build is going to be zombie walls in every way that we can do it. Uh, these zombies will uproot themselves and chase after enemies after certain talent tiers. I think we're going to be pretty good at sieging as well. It might be difficult to sneak off and do some siege damage against this particular comp uh, on this particular map, but we shall try. Zombie Wall does catch Lucio. I believe he can just boop himself right out of that. Good spiders, though. Hit ground bird and pretty hard. Toads are out and about, and Greymane picks up the first kill on Lucio. The spiders go forward. And there's one on our tennis. There's... Oh, that felt dirty. Uh, that will not catch Chromie. Wow, I, I do feel the range increase for sure. Now, it is very important that I do focus on getting my stacks of my trait. Voodoo Ritual is now more important than ever before. We're going to have a lot of talents that are relying on our stacks. I'll just continue to poke from afar with those... Uh, spiders onto their minion wave. That's my plan for getting my da my damage over time effect out and over there. We do see Blaze jumping forward to the front line. The enemy team starting to surround him. We catch Vala inside the zombie wall and we'll throw some spiders over to her as well. Man is a little on the low side, so let's drop back and grab our sippy cup. Once we hit level four, this shouldn't even be much of a problem anymore, to be honest with you. Like our mana should be pretty sorted. Uh, we threw spiders on the minion wave, not only to get the dot, but the spiders will automatically start to hunt down enemies behind it as well, making it even easier to deal chip damage to this enemy team. Now, before they get too close to the wall, I'm just going to zombie wall those back and use that as a bit of a buffer so my actual wall here that we're trying to protect stays a bit more healthy. The friendly team is dipping off to do the right thing. It looks like the enemy team is also dipping off to do the right thing. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, they grabbed vision. And for some reason, I think there's five fucking people in the bot lane right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to be in for a rude awakening as that samurai takes top. We're just going to keep sidestepping as much of this as we can. Uh, mana's on the low side, but that will change right now as we take Blood Ritual. Every takedown that happens nearby is going to return health and mana to us, basically giving us a damn near unlimited battery. Uh, spiders do go out, but miss the Vala. Friendly team manages to take her down anyway. We're going to get... I was mistaken on this, I think, in an earlier video. I thought I got takedowns for every kill no matter what, but it seems as the, or excuse me, I got stacks for takedowns no matter what, but it seems as though blood ritual is what enables our voodoo ritual to give credit for players. And I did not, I'm so out of man. I did not realize that at all. So today I learned halfway through our Nazebo deep dive. Spiders out against the enemies again. We're going to grab this, the region globe. Sippy Cup's up in 18. I'm just going to keep pushing. If the friendly team wants to do the objective, that's awesome. Toads on that to get the stacks. He could just jump over the wall. I'm sure he will. Uh, the objective is coming towards us. My sippy cup is ready again. We're at 41 stacks of our voodoo ritual right now, which means we're halfway to our first nice spell power bonus. I do kind of wonder how this build would play if you got the, um, the other spell power increase later in our talent tier too. Unfortunately, Muradin jumps right out of my zombie wall there. He's n shouldn't, shouldn't really ever be my target for that with his mobility. Artana's super low here. We aim for Lucio with the spiders and they begin to chase him 
away. Level seven is here, and we are going to pick up Dead Rush, the first of our zombie talents. Zombie welds deal 100% more damage when it expires. Up to five remaining zombies will begin to uproot and deal damage to a lot of shit. So what we can do is just throw out our spiders on a building like that, walk away, and the zombies continue to deal damage to the building. We are very good at sieging, and we could do this throughout the entirety of the game. It's only gonna get better as we continue to get more and more and more spell power. I wanna take down this wall too, but mostly, I just want those zombies up there causing problems for our enemies. Artanis almost got the swap on me. Luckily, I was able to just barely sneak away. Uh, we'll go ahead and spiders the enemy team's Muradin. Hit Vala in the slow if we can. Immediately uproot so they deal damage. And swap is back up, so I need to be careful. Uh, sippy Cup in 40 seconds, so I'm not going to be able to use that. Blaze getting swapped back, but then pulled to safety! Oh, what a save from our Anduin. You love to see it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, can't leave. Nope, sorry, I was gonna go back. I forgot, this is the game I'm playing. We need stacks on a two-lane map, so I can never, ever, ever afford to leave. The friendly team does pick up a kill on Murden just above me as he was going for one of our camps. Uh, we're just going to approach the building here again. Uh, I'll zombie wall this, I don't care. Just get him out and punch and stuff. That also puts my trade on things, so that does help with our stacking that we're trying to do. By the way, at 60 stacks right now. I'm gonna zombie wall again. Let it rip. Put my spiders on the building. Zoning toads. 27, 27 damage from those toads, boys. Wow, that is impressive. I love that ability. Oh man, if only there was a build focused around Toads, I bet it would be the best build for the Zevo. Ah, uh, we'll zombie wall over here, catching our Tannis. We're gonna leave those up this time too. They will still uproot and chase him, but deal more damage before they do. Now we're gonna pick up Gargantuan, and I'm not going to this team fight. Play, cue the Mission Impossible soundtrack. Hey. All right, I'll see you later, bye. All right, take care. All right, bye. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we got the building and we got away. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> well, we took that building out before they could react to it, which is exactly what I was going for. While we have a moment where they're distracted in this fight, I want to capitalize on that by permanently taking down fortifications with this setup. I do think I'd be okay at taking down samurais. I've never tried, though. Uh, let's go ahead and just zombie wall where we think Artanis is going to be. We caught him again. He's in there with our tank as well. The zombie's ripping him apart as he tries to escape. Nice. We do get the kill. Dismount that Muradin. Spider ahead. And with any luck. Oh, that speed boost just saved them so much pain. Oh, my goodness. The Lucio counter is real. Um, I do want to check in on their... Ooh, I'm in trouble. Probably would have been in my best effort to just, uh, my best interest to drop Gargantua in there right away if I really did think I was in trouble. I wanted to check on their samurai and make sure they weren't doing it. Seems as though they know that I know that they know. Oh, 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 Gargantua. I know I'm gonna get life gripped. There we go. I had confidence in the life grip. You see that? Trust, whoa, that swap, I wasn't ready for that. Trust in my teammates is working out so far. We catch Artanis again inside of the zombie wall. He's grabbed by Dahaka and the zombies. I actually think we're cleared out and didn't do too much damage there. In three seconds, we're gonna be able to do it again. I'm trying to find a flank on the side for it. Might be able to catch Chromie potentially. I wanna make sure I don't flank too far and let them re-wrap around on me. That would kind of suck. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay. Then Temporal Loop does catch me out. 
I think I'm playing too aggressive. I'm playing like I'm playing spiders. I need to just wait for my opportunity with the zombie wall and then let them do all of the work. These these flanks with spider, like I could easily solo a chromie there. But that's okay. We have a different tempo. That's okay. I am going to take Ice Block in this match. It gets me out of the Temporal Loop. It allows me to dodge a lot of the predictable Chromie damage. Also potentially allows me to get out of the... I forgot what it's called. Reign of Vengeance that Vala picked up as well. Uh, enemy team is moving towards the objective right now. I am a little late to this. In fact... Uh, the team is showing up. Do we want to... I'm just going to stop it from way over here. Tahaka has emerged. We're going to zombie wall the mercenary camp that these guys are standing on. Make sure we're slamming with the Gargantuan as well. That guy is going to be brought back to us, and that poison will be enough to kill him. Uh, I do want to flank around now. I just said I wouldn't do it anymore, but look at this opportunity. Zombie wall in front of the enemy team running away. We caught Lucio. He does boop them away, unfortunately, and the light bomb not close enough but still pretty good flank. I'm gonna go back to my lane and I'm just gonna soak the XP there. I need stacks. I need stacks. I'm behind on where I should be with stacks, I believe. So let's get it moving. Uh, enemy team might be on Samurai here. Now we see two up top. Do I steal the Samurai? Do you think I can? With Gargantuan, I definitely can. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, that is not bad at all. Wow, that is really good. Now we'll just push with the Samurai. I don't care about the objective even a little bit uh, because the Samurai is doing the same thing that the objective would be doing for us. So we're going to put our zombie walls down and power this bad boy a bit. Enemy team is starting to flank. Uh, spiders do hit the enemy team's Artanis as he begins to back up. Uh, I want to Gargantuan this as well. I'm not leaving. Gargantuan, zombie, I'm fully committed. that I will die for this building if I have to. If I have to, I think it's worth it. Although, that being said, I'm being completely fucking ignored. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. They're turning around now. Uh, or at least it looked like they were on the map. Little too late, my friends. Little too late. Uh, Chromie doesn't know I'm here yet. She might have vision from the wall. Got her. Come here. I'll get you. Come here. I'll get you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You in here? <laughs> All right. We're fine. I'm going to go get this samurai. I don't care about that kill. Uh, we did get things of the deep done. So that is a 10% spell power damage increase. Uh, let's start this, get behind him, and then summon in the zombie wall. We could Gargantuan for this too. I don't think we need it. Uh, we also get Ring of Poison on our zombies, which is going to make the inner area of our zombie wall deal some increased damage. I'll go ahead and back with this. Friendly team still pushing the objective. Uh, we are n probably not going to hit our level 20 stacks. I'm 75 away. But I found out today how much I like the Gargantuan. <laughs> the, the 20 upgrade for our Gargantuan is really, really cool. Uh, enemy team's crawling. Hmm, scouting around just a little bit. We could take this if we feel like we need some more, but I don't think we need that cannon just yet. What I would like to do is just kind of blindly push top lane with the samurai while they try to defend this objective again. So that's what I'm going to do. They are a talenteer down, which does give me a bit more wiggle room with doing adventurous things like this. So here we go. Gargantuan's down. Zombie wall's down. Okay, I'm very confident that that will die. Now, we're just going to wait on cooldowns and go for the flank. Maybe. Just uproot them right away. I'm just trying to distract them. If I can get this team to split and chase after me, that's a good thing. Vala's looking for me, though, so I'm going to juke that. Oh, Vala went back to objective. Um... Um, excuse me. Excuse me, little crummy. Excuse me. I'm just going to kill your building, okay? 
And that is Zombie Wall in the Zebo. I hope I played it well. That was really, really fun. That is my kind of build, dude. Just sniping buildings from motherfuckers when they don't even see it coming. Greymane picks up the MVP in this match. If we go ahead and take a look. Oh, I didn't make the board. If we go ahead and take a look at our stats, I imagine our siege damage is going to be pretty good. 70,000. Whoa, Chromie was chunking buildings. Look at that. That was super duper fun. I didn't expect our hero damage to be anywhere close to gray mains, to be honest with you, with all the split pushing we did. And I didn't expect a Haka to out soak me either. But that was certainly an insightful match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Talents we went for today were Thing of the Deep, Blood Ritual, Dead Rush into Gargantuan, Ice Block, and Ring of Poison. At level 20, if I was doing better on my stacks, I would have definitely picked up Vile Infection. But the way my game was going, Humongoid would have been my option just to get that cooldown down so we could continue to siege effectively. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And maybe one day we'll acknowledge that Toad Build exists. One day very, very, very far into the future. It might exist. <laughs>